today I want to take a look at this works hard to shot. And normally I don't like to do reviews that people have already done, like Kite Army's done a really good review on this, so I won't spend a lot of time talking about it. But one thing that I think is really cool is that initially I thought maybe this wouldn't be that handy of a tool. Uh, I, I've seen a few people raving about it, and the more I thought about it, I do have a lot of uses for something just like it. So. Here we go, our charger, battery, connectors, tip. Pretty cool. If you wanted to have a toad or something like that or a swimming pool, pretty good idea. I'm more interested in the more portable side of it. So here we go. Have our different tips built in, I like that. Zero all the way to four, and I guess like a flush or rinse. We'll figure it out. So if you're wondering why I'm not on the bench opening this up, well, first of all, this is a little bit larger package, and I sometimes I do it on my tailgate, but I'll show a few quick videos up here. My garage is staying pretty full lately. I'm trying to do a little bit of a project of a, a battery-powered lawnmower, at least to some degree, so there's many ways to go about doing it. I got this cool deck that come off of a Raven Moor. It was on Facebook. It's more of a local purchase, but within an hour drive of me anyway. So I picked it up brand new, pretty excited about it. So I want to make something pretty cool with it. So stay in tune for the future. We'll see what we do with that. It might take a little while, but. So guys, this one comes with a four amp hour battery, 20 volt battery, and charger, and got a pretty good feel to it. So this is a way to easily hook up a garden hose or use this attachment, and we could use something like a two liter bottle. Be nice to have a bottle of water about now. Oh, cool. That's perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I like it. And the way this one's made, at least this generation, the way this is made, is we do have a little vent hole here, so we probably ain't got to put a hole in the bottle, but we'll figure it out. So it might not be necessary, but I'm actually going to fill the cavity up with water. That way we don't, uh, we don't risk the pump not being primed well. Oh, there we go, it picked up then. Okay, it would help, but I didn't put it in backwards. So it, it wasn't very difficult to, to prime, but I would recommend just hooking it up to a water hose the first time you prime it. That pressure going in would definitely help get the air out of the pump easier. And you don't want to cavitate or you know run the pump dry too long, so that wasn't bad at all. I played around with it a little bit. Let's go see what it can do. So, so really and truly one of my biggest problems is the bird. So I want to see if this will be a quick remedy. To get rid of the bird mess.
That's pretty hard to get rid of, honestly. Go back to 15. We got it running down here. I like it for about one of their favorite spots, my mailbox. Seriously, didn't even have to look hard for this. It's like the birds harass you. So it actually doesn't take a lot of water. And it does a really, really good job. Hey, for some of you guys just thinking, that's a lot of worry about bird poo on a car. Just go to the car wash. I totally agree with you. I don't know if you can see this or not because I got my truck wet right now, but this is actually a clear paint protectant that my 2018 Toyota Tacoma had come with. It worked. Birds like to poo on the vehicles. And believe it or not, the reason I had to cut this big old spot on my the clear plastic paint covering, even though it looks like brand new everywhere else, because a bird decided to drop right here and eat away at the actual clear protectant. And it just started turning brown. Even though I got it off the next day or so, it wasn't quick enough. So just thought I would mention that, that I have had some bad experience with clear coat and of course the paint protecting itself. If you do have this liner that comes over some of the newer vehicles. So guys, this is the WG620. So this is the cheaper kit. I got it off Amazon for about $107. It came with the bottle adapter, the hose, battery charger, of course the um, the wand and the tip and the four amp the four amp hour battery is a plus. They could have cheaped that one with a two amp hour, they didn't. Um, so I really appreciate that. And honestly, um, if you if you have a couple of two liter bottles of water just capped up and ready to go it's amazing how far you can go um i probably did five to six liters playing around and doing the car hoods and the mailbox and the patio and the post on the mailbox so i got a little carried away but first 30 minutes on it you know what do i think i think it's pretty amazing i mean i would definitely buy it again I definitely recommend it. Uh, you know, again, I purchased this with my with my own money, of course. Um, I do have things sent to me from time to time to review, and I always tell up front when that's the case. This one I actually saw on Kite Army in a few places, and I said, you know, I've been actually working a little bit with making my own, like, Ego little pump sprayer, and it probably wouldn't even have been this nice the way they did the pump. is uh, pretty pretty spectacular. I love the, the nozzle and all, but... um. So there's no way I probably could have made it quite this nice. And this one puts out 320 PSI, which is great for the stubborn stuff like the birds. And um, yeah, 320, 320 PSI, 0.5 GPM, 4.2 pounds. And yeah, I mean, hooked to a water hose, it could be handy for sure. But one of the handiest things about it by far to me is being able to hook something like a two liter bottle up and go out to your mailbox or or out to your car and um, just clean off a spot that's sore and aggravating that before was just a headache to deal with, right? So 
I definitely think it has a purpose. Uh, it's it's by no means going to replace a a true pressure washer naturally, which is not what it's intended to do. It's, it's intended to be a little cordless, portable way to give you a little cleaning power. And one thing that just um, entered my mind how handy it's going to be is dirt dollars. So around my porch, I got a lot of dirt daubers. I'm gonna go knock them down with the broom now and sweep them up. I'm gonna see if this will take care of the, the leftover residue of that mud wall or uh, mud dauber nest. So, be right back. Not too bad. Knock that one right off. It's a big one here, if you can see that. Oh, yeah. Spider. So the next day, guys, out there is dry. After only cleaning with that works powder shot. It's hard to tell when it's still wet, but it cleaned up. Cleaned up pretty well. So you might almost say it's for the birds. And actually, that's a good thing. So I hope you like this quick review of the works hydro shot. I hope you were impressed with it as I was. And um, I just like looking at things that's this neat and things that I think is very helpful around the garage, around the, it's around the house in general. So guys, if you're interested in this, I'll have a link in the description. Please check it out. All links you click on really help support the channel and I really appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching. God bless.